What's up guys? Welcome back and I got another exciting video for you today. In today's video we're going to go over three stocks that were on my watch list and I actually invested in about a week ago. We're going to go over Mara or Marathon Patent which has to do with a little bit of Bitcoin. They're up 18% today. I'm going to talk about UMC Corp. They're up 3% today and Vine Therapeutic Inc. They're up 16 percent today. So let's get into it and let's talk about some of these plays and moves that have been made and what is going to happen in the future for these companies. So right off the bat, let's go ahead and start with Vine. Now Vine Therapeutics, for everyone that doesn't know, uh, just got a FDA approval for um, one of their uh, basically it's for acne, so they got approval for that. It went up 39%, and in doing that, as you can see here, um, I was watching it back in this area. Uh, I do have 33 shares right now, and I'm up $15, or 17%. Um, if we go to order details, just so you guys can see, this is a, this is a live account. This is my trading account. Um, I bought one on the 26th of January at 249 and then I bought two on February 1st at 2.24 because I seen a dip. I should have bought more of them. And then on the 3rd of February, I bought 30 shares at $2.79. So with that said, that brings my average. Um, I'm not even sure really what my average is right now for this, but I do own it. Um, oh, right here, 33 shares at 748. That is my average, and I am holding for a little while. Now, where do I see this company going? I drew a little chart here, and it's actually been staying steady. See, I was watching this company back here in the ones and the twos, and then I seen it break, and then I was like, oh, wow, this is really cool. Bought one bought a second one and I should have bought more down here this would have been the mark to buy at if you could have bought down here and then be able to sell here you would be at a 55 percent profit on that right there which would just be simply amazing but um, if you didn't let's talk about it there's still some room to grow uh, we're, t we're seeing some target prices of about five dollars and it could happen overnight or it could happen in the next couple of days it could take a month but as you can see it's already beat my line here i drew this line about a week ago um, and it's actually been bouncing off this line quite a bit and i believe this company has plenty of more room to grow i'm thinking about buying some more shares at this price now i've been watching it all day uh since this morning and i actually should have bought it you know, at underneath that $3 mark, but I didn't, you know, I had some errands and things to run today. So I wasn't able to buy in, but I do believe this company is going to go up to $5. It's just a matter of time. Okay, moving on. UMC, let's talk about it before we get to Bitcoin or Mara. Now this company, I uh, have been watching for a little while. I'm not sure if I traded UMC. Let's go ahead and take a look. Um, yeah, it looks like I did view quote no let's see view hmm, working do i have any umc right now i do not have any umc i know i filled it so i had four shares at 1031 and i bought it at 934 which is not bad at all so i made a couple dollars on it but the thing is it's up three percent today so I've been watching it and I drew a line here. This was supposed to be that uh, low resistant level. And then there was a, a high resistant level. It blew through both of those. I mean, if you could have got in on this company um, January, it looks like, for $8 and sold and even waited till now, you'd be at a 17% profit. If you were able to sell on the 22nd of January, you'd be at an 18% profit. So that's pretty cool um, considering. So if we look at the five minute chart, 
Uh, it looks like it started out right at, whoop, right here. And you'd actually be looking at, I can't see it right there, a 13% profit if you bought at that low point. And that would have been on the 4th. So definitely a lot of money that you can mess around with and get involved with this company. Now, UMC, for everyone who doesn't know, is basically, let's see if I go over to... It's a global semiconductor foundry, so kind of like um, Intel or NVIDIA, stuff like that. Um, I mean, I've been watching this company for quite some time, and they are finally starting to kind of get up there in um, you know cash flow, income, stuff like that. So this is still going to be a good play. I could see this company going to at least $12 uh, easy. Uh, it's just a matter of time. Let's see if we did a trend line here. You can say from here up through here. I'll put that as a purple line. Okay, there's still room to grow. You know, it could come down, um, you know, obviously, but um, we'll just have to wait and see. So, last one Mara or M A R. Now, look at this company grow from February 4th. Even at the low point right here on February 5th to here, you're at an 80% profit almost, 78% profit in just a matter of days for this Mara. And of course, this has to do a lot with Bitcoin, but if Bitcoin goes up, then I could see this steadily rising up. Um, I'm going to put my little purple line here. And any recent news about Mara would be here. Whoops. Let's see. Where was I at? Mara. Right here. Will Bitcoin or Dogecoin grow more by 2022? Yeah, I'm sure it will. Financials on this, of course, are in the negatives, but they are kind of going up slightly. Um, not much is said here. Balance sheets, there's empty. Cash flow is empty. So. You know, there's not a heck of a lot going on, but as Bitcoin grows, this will also grow. Um, I mean, as you can see right here, it's up 20, almost 20% for the day. And uh, if I type in here, we can look at some of the better technical indicators. Um, pull that. See, I don't really like this. Let's see. Trade. Let's see. Look at some of the technicals, which aren't on here. That's so weird. The trade stock right here. No, it took away some of my indicators. That's so crazy. I have technical indicators, and none of them are showing here. But anyways, just a little video I wanted to show you guys on some of the stuff going on today um, those are the companies that I'm looking at and um, I do have other companies that I'm watching my account right now is let's see what a trade uh, well can't really see I don't know. I'm still getting used to Webull, guys. It's it's crazy. Um, trying to figure it out sometimes. But I had all my technical indicators down here, and now none of them are here. So kind of weird, like my RSI and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's just very odd. I don't know what's going on. see it shows this well I guess I have to put all my indicators back in I don't know what happened to them my volume of course 
that's a little bit better. Um, definitely on the overbought side for UMC. Mara is, I mean, going to be probably way overbought. Yeah, it is. But it has this nice little pullback, supposedly. So we'll see how it goes. If it keeps up with my purple line trend. And then this one's way overbought, but at a slight pullback. And the volume's, like, insane here for Vine. So still going up. I mean, still making money on these. Um, that's what I have for today. I know it wasn't the best free flowing video. Like, you know, it was kind of a little over all over the place for a second. Um, felt a little bit rushed, but, um, I do have videos like this all the time calling out different plays, stocks, and uh, companies you may, may never have heard of or might never have heard of. So, um, do me a favor. If you're still watching, smash that like button and we will see you in the next video.